Holy crap, Twilight just said too much studying? Alright, time to look for the changeling pods. <laughs> Alright, well, we have ourselves... In one opening, more violence in one episode than we usually have in an entire season. <laughs> more pew pew. Pew pew. Whatever. Alright. So, she's also teaching her magic magic, and not just simply the magic of friendship. And also, I unfortunately saw the synopsis as I was scrolling down to click on the video, so... <laughs> I already know apparently she's lacking or slacking off or something. It's not moving at pace. So, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Let's see! Give me that spell. Me once. Oh, so they do have history class. Huh. Funny they might, you know, ignore Luna's Fall, Discord, Crystal Empire, recent events in Griffinstone. Equestrian education might be worse than American. So with how nervous she is, would this be a good time to show her lesson zero? Because after all, clock is ticking, starlight clock is ticking! <laughs> Alright, before I see it, my guess is twofold. Either A, the rest of the main six has fused together from this spell she just cast, or B, they've all been turned into infants. Let's see if one of my guesses was right. Oh, so we just did some mind rape instead. Oh, excellent. Well, I've only seen Pinkie Pies, but it's obvious she's going to start making everything in the book. I have a feeling everybody else is going to have similar issues of performing a little too well. I don't know, girlfriend. That mouth looked like she could work it. Okay, I know I'm crossing references here. This is not what they're referencing, but I must wonder. If they can take her farm, can they take her love? Can they take her where she cannot stand? Does she only need the sky? Yeah, this reference would work a lot better with Rainbow Dash. Eh, whatever. I don't think I ever saw the movie she's actually referencing. In fact, off the top of my head, I can't even quite recall the name. I think it's Brave? Heart? Eh, whatever. That Mel Gibson movie. Starlight gl Glimmer, my dear, why the heck did you say that? Hi, Twilight, how you doing? <laughs> well, it was a good apology, but oh. I don't know. I don't feel the sincerity. It was there, but it, it just wasn't strong enough for me. <laughs> Gotta critique them. <laughs> there was a good apology. Not exactly sure if that... Yeah, I think that may constitute wooden acting. Well, maybe not acting, but wooden dialogue. <sighs> but on the other hand, it gave me a joke. <laughs> I think I've met my quota for hearing the word or words derivative of chillax for the next three months. I've used the word before, but I usually don't use it seriously. Mm. They ever use the dang word. But whatever. At least it's not a word I despise. At any rate, I did like the episode. I thought the voice actors did really well, and the animators did really well at showing the main six that were there as being both robotic and yet still having their personalities. They struck a very good balance for that, in my opinion. 
And, I mean, you know, the lessons were good, but, um, you know, I think the most obvious lesson, that's kind of hard to apply to a human's life. Last I checked, I don't have mind control spells. Yeah, I wouldn't use, I at least initially would try not to use mind control spells. Now, influence, you know, like, make make you like 20% more favorable to me? Oh yeah, sure, I'd, I'd use that all day every day. But, yeah. <laughs> but yes, okay, we get it. You you hang out with friends and you learn that way. Yes, that's nice, that's beautiful. Whatever. Eh. It, was, it was a nice episode, so... Eh, I'm doing this really late, it's Friday. <sighs> I'm going to I'm going to attack his my nose. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry if that made a loud noise.